Hello everybody, it's February 1st, 2021. I am at the Park Street Station. I'm riding the Boston Red Line and changing at the next station for the Orange so I can get to Faneuil Hall. It's my first time riding the Red Line. I rode the Orange before. But this will be a video on how to take the Boston Metro or the subway. This is the Park Street Station. I'm going to change at Downtown Crossing. Attention passengers. The time's 4:11 p.m. train to Ashmont is now arriving. So Boston's Metro is called the T. They run five different kinds of transportation. The heavy rail, light rail, bus rapid transit, local bus, and commuter rail. This is a heavy rail line. Looks a little bit crowded, but I think I'll manage. Looks a little bit older than the New York City subway where I'm from. So I'm taking it one stop. Well, it's snowing right now, so the ground's a little bit wet. See, there's two um, routes that this could take. It can go the Ashmont branch or the Braintree branch. Crossing. I'm changing to the orange line, going towards Oak Grove, one stop. Pretty efficient. Definitely uses an older rolling stock than the New York City subway. Although when I was riding the metro earlier, I also saw a newer orange train line. say I do like the New York City subway a bit better than the Boston subway although I do have to say the Boston subway you do have internet service underground and even in between stations in the tunnels which is something that the New York City subway does not have for some reason so I need to get off over here to the left to the orange line Alright, I guess uh, this is weird. I gotta exit in order to transfer to the orange. In New York City, it's within the system where you 
go and change trains, but in Boston, it seems like we exit a turnstile just to enter in again, I guess. Hmm. This transfer isn't really as convenient as you think. Here's the um, booths where you can buy a Charlie ticket or a, well, I should say Charlie ticket is the, um, is a plastic card that you get to fill up at that booth. But the Charlie card is the tap to pay option. You can reload that one. I'm not sure if the Charlie ticket you can reload, but there's that. And there's my orange train, although I don't know if that's headed the right direction. But here's my Charlie card. Charlie card. So what you do with the Charlie card is you tap to pay over here looks like I just missed my train but it's okay next trains coming in 10 minutes there's a newer train on the orange line Hopefully the next train will be a newer one. I can give you my uh, reactions on that. But my Charlie card, I was able to get it for free at a metro station. I don't think every metro station gives out free Charlie cards. But um, I also refilled it with a seven day unlimited pass for $22.50. Got some interesting facts on this wall here. So, at least it gives you the time and the countdown to the next train. I know in New York City, the countdown timers aren't always accurate, but these seem to be accurate. Also, this is something I haven't seen before, but they put the advertisements on the actual, like, structure on the other side, I guess. I don't know if this is called the road bed, but track bed. I guess that's an efficient way to advertise. I mean, people are going to be looking that way as well. Maybe the MTA can take some clues in order to uh, supplement their deficit. So I'll start it up once the train arrives. All right, the orange train to Oak Grove is coming in a minute now. This is my second time taking the orange line. The first time was coming into downtown Boston. Hopefully it's a newer train. Attention passengers, the next orange line train to Oak Grove is now approaching. The following Oak Grove train arrives.
MBTA even has employees here walking the platform. You can ask them questions. Really good customer service on that part. Seems like a lot longer than a minute for this train to come. even coming off of that door. It's all rusting on the top. Wow. Yeah, definitely not as clean as a New York subway. In certain parts, that is. But I'll be taking this one stop to State Station. Don't really seem to close as smoothly either. Main Street is next. Change up a blue line connection. Okay. At least the intercom works well. Here's a subway map. The flooring is outdated as well. But at least. They've got cushions on these seats. In New York, they don't have cushions on the seats. station for people to get off but then again it's a transfer station to the blue line yeah definitely outdated look at this there's rust someone stuck an ice cream cone on the window there to uh, go through the turnstile again. Exiting at State and Devonshire. Wow, it's snowing even more now. Okay. Wow, look at this. Yes, it's the pocket too. Okay. It's really good. It looks like it's amazing. Yeah. The pocket too. Thank you. All right. Okay, so we are out on State Street Station now at Congress. Spaniel Hall's over there. But I will be ending this video here. If you enjoyed it. Be sure to smash the like button for me, subscribe for some more videos, and I'll see you next time. Take care, folks. Bye-bye.